Can I start first of all? What about John Lundstrom? Should he have gone? No. Uh, for me, look, it it was a professional foul. Uh, for me, it was a, it was a yellow card um, all day long. But I thought Willie Collum uh, got this one. Um, he got it wrong. Uh, I don't see how that was any different to, to Doyle Hayes' challenge in the in the earlier on in the in the first half. It was exactly the same thing as a professional foul. It did stop an attack. But it's a yellow card, it's not a red for me. Was part of you thinking, why did he do it at the other end of the pitch? Did he have to do it? I, for me, it's just, I think the question that a lot of people will be asking is the consistency. You know, mm -hmm. when, you, when you see the same challenge, um, that basically is the same thing. It's a professional foul, um, but one's a yellow card and the other's a red card. So I think if it's consistent, nobody's really ask, asking any questions. Because of the lack of consistency, there is an issue with it. Mark, what's your take on it? Never, never a red card. Um, you know, it's, it's just never a red card, Paul. And Rangers are going to appeal, I believe, and they'll win the appeal. Yeah. Um, you know, if they don't win that appeal, then there's no point in having an, an appeals procedure. But um, listen, I, I like what they call him. I feel for him. You know, I think he's an easy target when it comes to referees. Um, but on this occasion, he got the Lundstrom one wrong. Here's the manager's take on it, speaking to Sky afterwards. As I said, it was a physical game. I think first half I saw some tackles, you know, with a lot of passion. You know, the ref decides the decision if it's a red card or or or, 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 or a yellow card. You know, John was harsh to get the red card. I think it was a foul, but I think he didn't have any intention to to hit him really hard. So I was surprised he gave the red card. And Rangers are appealing yeah. that you would expect them. You can never tell, can you, Craig? But when you look at the Jake Doyle Hayes incident, yeah. it looked very similar. Yeah, look, it's a I, yellow. It is, it is, and I'd ex, I'd expect that obviously you know through the appeal process that, that that'll get turned, that'll get turned around, and um, it, it won't get what the one game automatic suspension all that. I think Rangers will win the appeal. They were exactly the same mm. challenge as Paul. Like, so it's just a lack of the lack of consistency. The referee got it wrong on this occasion. What I would like to see is the opportunity of maybe referees speaking after yeah. games once they've seen the incidents themselves. Mark. Referee speaking afterwards. Yeah, you... yeah, you know, in an ideal world, Paul, uh, that would be spot on. But, you know, the danger of that is Willie Collum looks at it and says, yeah, I've got that wrong. Where does that leave the appeals process? Yeah. Yeah, so you've, you've got to go through a, a, a procedure um, sure. and therefore, you know, put them in the firing line. Because, let's listen, are we going to want to speak to referees when they get them right? You know, they go, come on, Willie, in you come. That's a couple of great, that's a couple of great decisions. <laughs> you know, but so no, look, I, I I get it. There's a frustration when you don't understand um, decisions. I think for that one, clearly, yeah. Willie's thought that he's he's raked the studs down the back, and it was like you know a, a proper, really over the top tackle. It wasn't. It was a trip. Now, had that trip been 25 yards from the Rangers goal, rather than 25 yards for the Hibs goal, you could possibly see a bit of merit in it. But where it was, the kind of tackle, it's just a trip. It's a run-of-the-mill trip where it's the old-fashioned, it's the old saying, Craig, he had to take one for the team. Ah, but it wasn't last shit. man. It wasn't. Look, in no shape or form is John Lundstrom's tackle a red card. That's the bottom line.